Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen. End of day market overview is back on the action today. Very excited. Uh, starting with uh, the cryptocurrency market, we've had tons of success here on the way down. Huge drops all across the board, right? Uh, we had the Litecoin where the short position uh, just before the weekend, uh, during the weekend actually, we knocked off the target of 83.74, so we got out of that. Uh, took quite a bit of profit on the way uh, to the target. But now we feel like price action may just be t starting to turn around and we decided to test the water with a new bullish position. All right, a new bullish campaign. We're flipping over on the Litecoin and on the whole market, to be honest, right? But we're approaching with cautious, just one position in small size position starting with one trade all right just feeling it out let's see how it goes we had a lot of success with the cardano knocked off the target of 8, 0, 50, uh, 16. 0, 50, 16 was our target um, had quite a bit of profit with this one as well and also polka dot right knocked off the big target of zero of sorry 6.82 boom just last friday Beautiful stuff. So we're out of those. Uh, oh, Dogcoin, of course, what else was also one of them. One of our short positions. Here we targeted 0 0.1485.58 and uh, job done here as well. Now it's time to approach, well, like I said, flipping over. That's our, gonna be our, our, our strategy. But we're gonna start slow, all right? Gain momentum as we go, all right? With that positive momentum, if it keeps going forward, we'll start putting more and more pressure, increasing our position sizes and getting more positions in. So that's pretty much the front for the cryptocurrency market. One position in, you just uh, we just uh, we just established that position a couple of hours ago. One of the videos today in the main cryptocurrency section members area. Uh, was on the Litecoin, so go ahead and check it out. Also, the dollar Canadian was the main video today in the Forex section. Here, guys, we got so close to the target. We all we were almost, you know, kissing the target at 38. We got very, very close. We decided to close out most of the position. We took a lot of profit home, but we could kept the position still open because we feel like we want to move on to the next stage, which is 40.69. For that. We need price action to cross over this big obstacle 38, which was just recently our main target, right? Now it's going to be our testing ground for the next target, 40.69. So, yeah, we got our stop loss level tightened up to 146, uh, 136, sorry. Uh, but we still have to keep far uh, a, a distance, enough distance for price action in case it's going to be spiky or noisy. Because I do expect a bit of a local technical correction of a day or two. So we want to be able to accommodate. Um, yeah, and we got two more trades that uh, we got in at the beginning of the session today, a few hours ago. Aussie Japanese Yen, we see a lot of downside potential here. We talked about this last week. We're waiting for the break below 98.99. I think it's coming soon. Same with the Aussie Swiss franc, it's already started to break downwards last week. Uh, so we decided to take up on that as well. Looking at the big picture, guys, um, you can see the downside potential, right? Because this is like, this is the, you know, the, the big picture going all the way to August 2023. That's where price action began to trade sideways in a pretty wide range. Now, just recently, Right, took the previous highs, starting to turn around. Last week ended up negatively. Could very well be the beginning of a new downside leg back to where it came from. Again, ever since August, it's a trading range, right? Trading back and forth, back and forth. Right now, coming from the upper section, after taking the, all the previous highs, it's ready for the next downside drop back to 5682 at the very minimum that's going to be our primary target we have a secondary target at 5849 just as well so 
yeah we got uh, we got rid of the euro dollar well we got we hit the target at 106.39 so we said goodbye to the euro dollar but again i think that there's more downside potential here but we're just not willing to explore that that, that potential 106.39 was designated right from the get-go as our main target and final destination so we got there took a lot of profit and we're done with the euro dollar all right guys so just to uh just to sum it up we have three active positions in the forex market right and one active position in the cryptocurrency market closed out all of our existing positions basically that's about that for the day guys hope you enjoyed it uh, wishing you a nice trading day. We're going to be back tomorrow, same time, same place. Take care.